Today I've got two stories to tell you, to relate to you regarding uh, passengers on my flight. As you know, some of you may not. I've been flying, I had flew with Singapore Airlines as a flight attendant and executive for 35 years before my retirement. So today I will relate two uh, funny stories or interesting stories. One is about a gentleman who used to be our business class passenger and on that particular flight he was giving the crew a lot of trouble. He was uh, abusing the crew, literally speaking. He shouted at the cabin crew, the flight attendant, uh, and he alleged that the wines we served him uh, were lousy, not up to standard, the food was not good, and uh, it wasn't the crew's fault. But he kept shouting and uh, uh, misbe misbehaving himself. So what can the crew do? We just apologize and try our best uh, to please him, but nothing could please him. Well, after the flight, a few days later, we forgot everything about this. A few days later after the flight, one of the crew saw an obituary uh, of a man who died in a, who died, uh, he was not very old, he was probably in his four, 40s, died. And we found out that this particular man, I don't want to mention the names, anyway, I don't mention names of passengers or the crew, if we were going to, I'm going to relate the story about, and he died in an accident. His car, he was driving a car and he smashed or drove into a lamppost and he died. And this was in Singapore. And, oh, we don't know, you know, we call one another up, the crew on the phone and we talk about it. And we really don't know actually what was it. Was it retribution? Oh, never mind. It's for you to guess. The second story is about a lady passenger, also a business class passenger. You know, big deal, business class. She came up, bought the flight from Frankfurt on Singapore Airlines. And I was at the door uh, to greet our passengers. And she was approaching towards us. We were at the door of the aircraft inside. And she was approaching. And I addressed her by her name which I could remember, Miss So-and-so. And she was taken aback and she took at me. Anyway, I helped her with the baggage and I brought her up to the business class in the upper deck of the Jumbo, the Boeing 747. And when I showed her the seat and kept store her baggage for her, she beckoned me, you know, and asked me, how did you know my name? Without even seeing my body, my boarding card. You know, the boarding card, there will be names of passengers on the boarding card. When we receive the boarding card during boarding time, we look at the name and then we will address the passenger accordingly, especially first class and business class. So I told her, well, I had to tell a little bit, a small lie here. I told her that I could remember her because she reminded me of someone that I knew. Oh, she said, okay, uh, that's okay, thanks. I was just curious, she said. But in my mind, and later on, I talked to the crew, we were saying that we met her on a flight sometime back. And she was one of the most nastiest passengers. On the ground, she gave us a lot of problems regarding uh, the seating, the seats. She didn't like it. We tried to solve the problem for her. She showed her tantrum. tantrum of her you know, temper was fantastic, was bad. And during the flight, too. But she wasn't as bad as the, the, the first story, the men. So how could you ever forget the name of a passenger or a person who abused you and who was so nasty to you? Of course, you remember her or him for a long, long time. But 
you, you can't tell her, right? So I had to lie to her that she reminded me of someone. So I hope you enjoy my story. And if you like, you indicate in the comment column behind uh, below this uh, video and say you like it, you appreciate it. And uh, I will tell more stories. This, these two stories are not in my book, which was published about 11 years ago called Fasten Your Seat Belt. Kevin Crew. Thank you for watching my video.